Hi, good morning, Church on the Ridge. Hey, great to see you on this beautiful Monday. Hey, we're looking forward to a great week, and we're in Psalm 28. Psalm 28 is a short psalm, so it won't take you long to get through it, but verse 3 says this, Do not drag me away with the wicked, Lord, with those who do evil. So you go, oh, I know who evil people are, you know, people that kill people and just terrible people, right? Those are the evil people. But then David defines it and he says, those who speak cordially to their neighbors, but then harbor evil in their hearts. He's saying you, you say one thing with your mouth, but you feel something different in your, in your heart. You're harboring malice. I don't like this person. I'm going to smile. Hey, oh yeah, oh great, right? When you feel yourself doing that today, stop. Say, God, why is this in my heart? Why is this angering me? Why do I not like this person? What is it about this person? And it may come right to your mind, right? It may be right there. This person is always doing this. I don't, you know, they've, they've done this to me. And you've got your list. Here's what I want you to do. If you're going to have a great day, we got to deal with some of that yuck in our heart, some of that malice that's in there. And we can't change a person. Right? Oh, we just oh, get them, beat them up, right? That doesn't work. It has to happen inside. So in your 14 minutes today, take that person that you're harboring, harboring malice with. Take that person that you're frustrated. Take that person that has burned you, that, is, that has ripped you off, that has treated you with contempt. Something where, you know, you're, it, it's there. And instead of just play, playing the game, hey, just stop. Lord, give me a heart for this person. God, root out this evil in me. Root out this in me that has just given me all this yuck and crud and junk. Jesus, you forgave me when I was full of it. So Lord, give me the ability to release this person. And I promise you, you do that. God will begin to show you how to, how to release forgiveness. God will begin to show you how to tr transform your heart. And, and again, the person may not ever change. They may still be a terrible son of a gun they've always been. But you'll change and you'll have a great day. Father, I thank you that you've given us the ability to release the malice and the, and the bitterness and the hurt that other people have done to us. Today, I pray that we would spend some quality time with you and allow you to do the work in our heart that we need done, that we might release, God, that bitterness, that ugliness, that we might be able to speak with truth. Hi, neighbor. I pray this in Jesus' name. And I know, God, I know, God, this is tough for many of us. Some of those wounds are deep. So, God, be gentle and help us. In Jesus' name, amen. It's going to be tough, folks, but I pray you'll do it. Hey, I love you, Church in the Ridge. I want you to have a great week. Pray for me. It's going to be an interesting week. Got a number of meetings that are very, very important, so pray. And uh, I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. We'll see you tomorrow morning.